what is the resurrection to the kingdom? That's all good. Everything you're saying is good, but I think I better tell you. Do you really want to hear it? Let me tell you what the resurrection is to the kingdom. <laughs> this is why the disciples preach this. Did you hear what I'm saying? I didn't say they taught it. <laughs> I better, you, 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 I don't know if you're ready or you're going to traffic with me good tonight. There's an difference between what they taught and what they preached. My argument is simply this. What is the resurrection to the kingdom? I better tell you. The resurrection to the kingdom testifies to the overthrow of the previous kingdom. That's why every time they preached it, miracles happened. Today, we're preaching good things, but there's no manifestation of the overthrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, you heard it. Are you hear me? That means when we get this back in our teaching, sickness is overthrown. Do I make sense to you? Disease is overthrown because he won't reign with that mess there. Do I, do, I, do I make sense to you? We've got the kingdom right and we've got it right, but we're missing what was the overthrow of the previous. Because in the original language, it, the oh, sorry, because in the original language, the preaching of the gospel is the enforcement of the king. So there's nothing to enforce because you're not speaking the enforcement of it. Okay, let me move on. In the original language, do you know the, do you know the preaching of the gospel? The preaching of the gospel. Oh God. In the original language, the preaching of the gospel is the casting out of devils. Because it is the declaration to a foreign power, it is defeated. Say that again. They taught the word. They taught the Torah. The former and the latter. Am I making any sense to you here at all? No wonder. Wow. I'm seeing it even as I'm saying it. No wonder today, even in today's preaching and teaching, there is the lack of the power to demonstrate. <laughs> they came out of prison. And the Bible says they testified of what? Resurrection, the overthrow. Oh my God. Now there's an overthrow. Watch the king take up residence. Now, you know what Judaism has done? It's no different to what Christianity has done today. Let me tell you what Christianity has done today. We've preached the cross. And we stopped there. The cross is a revelation. Because we weren't there. It's a revelation. Okay, but watch this now. But the resurrection is a greater revelation than the death. Do you see it? Now, Watch this now and tell me how this strikes you now. I couldn't tell the last time I went to a church. And you got to bear in mind that I preach in all kinds of churches. Big churches, small churches, churches of thousands. And out of the churches I've preached in today, this is what I, I, I'm just going to just be very blunt with you. This is what I have found to be common. 
to not offend, we've not gone into resurrection power. We've told the people they can be forgiven of their sins, but the power, the resurrection is denied. It's now left as historical data. Yes, he died. The Judaism has the same mindset. He's dead. They stopped there. And they didn't even believe. Watch this now. And the church today went as far as the cross and parked. Now, what is the resurrection? <laughs> Are you receiving anything from this? What is the resurrection? The resurrection is the revelation of the latter rain. The former and the latter together. That which was under the old, all the things that, all things that were the benefits of the old, compiled into the new. Accessed now by grace, through faith.